it's 30, it's 30, 30 shows. So, 30 I, I, still shows. Have so I, I still have to still have process of verification by Guinness where I have to submit all, all, the, all the data and then, and then, and then wait. It's like a big exam. It's like a big exam. Okay, and then, how, but how many did you do? I did 31. I did 31. You did 31. What was the previous record? Shows the previous one was 30. The previous one was 30. 30. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm on you, Nick. Whenever you say. We live, guys. We live, guys. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Uh, all right, three, two, one. Hey, what's cracking, Planet Earth? It's your boy Griff, uh, broadcasting live from the Get Up Morning Studio in Dallas, Texas, where I am normally with Erica Campbell, but she left. On the not phone, but on the screen is my very good friend Carl Joshua Lube, uh from Zimbabwe. How about that? Now, the last yes. time you saw us. We were talking about Carl going on this tour and beating the Guinness Book of World Records of the most comedy shows in a week. Well, guess what, y'all? He did it! How about that? 31 shows. The previous yeah, record was 30. You did 31. Man, they will always have to talk about you when they talk about comedians. Come on, Carl. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like, once I get the t shirts. Once I get the t shirts. Done something. Done something. Probably. Yeah, I know that's Probably. right. I know that's right. Yeah, because if you don't get the t shirts, you, 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 you haven't done it. You haven't done it. Yeah, no one in your family cares if you don't have a t shirt. If it it don't matter what it says in the Guinness book with the with the seal next to it and the embos monogram. If your family members don't get a hat that said Carl did it, you're a loser. Exactly. Just go to the exactly. kitchen and make us some tea. That's what they're going to tell you. <laughs> so tell me, man, you did 31 shows in eight days or seven days? In seven days. In seven I, had days. I had four cancellations, so it could have been 35. So been 35. Okay. 40-minute shows, 30-minute shows? In the shows, uh, in some shows, shows I had to go over because, because, because it, it was like um, they were all like, one man uh, shows. They were all one man so shows. Just ask people to sit with me. I had to kind of go yeah, over and kind of go like, over and like, or in one case do an hour. In one case do an hour. Man, um, you know, I the only more popular person in your uh, country is uh, uh, your your president. But right now, homie, you got Zimbabwe on your back. Uh, dog, when are you coming to America? When are we going to do the tour? What are you yeah. going to do next? How does yeah. it feel? I got a yeah. thousand questions. So, so I have to try and so, convince so you and, and, and three other African three other African and go across America. And go across America. Just show us. Just show us. Just show us America, and then we'll return to Africa. Africa. Uh, hopefully, not, uh, hopefully not. Probably something a little more um, <laughs> comfortable. Comfortable. Well, you know what would be cool, man, is we definitely could do Atlanta. That got the most black people. We can do D.C. We could do some stuff in Dallas and Houston. We could do some stuff in, uh, where else, Philadelphia, a lot of the East Coast, New York. You know, it's not going to be hard. Um, you're already a name um, on the continent of Africa, not just the part of Africa you're in. You're already a name, but, man, this Guinness Book of World Record you're going to be getting in clubs I was never able to. <laughs> Dude, it, it, what an Dude, incredible it, experience, what an though, incredible because, experience it, though, Zimbabwe because doesn't, have Zimbabwe comedy doesn't have comedy clubs. So to be able to, so to, come, be able to come up this and start and out start like out comedy like night in, in Zimbabwe was, uh, was a great uh, opportunity. So, opportunity. So, so now I can show so people can more show places where comedy can happen in Zimbabwe. And I can happen that there's an appetite, that for that appetite for comedy. Did you? So what did you do? You got a venue and you told them I want to put 100 people in here or 200 people like you did it old school promoter style? Yeah, so so we had to uh, we had to there's uh, uh, some venues where, for example, comedy nights that happen just before we start. Uh, we had to 
strategy. The uh, Knights are uh, introducing, uh, uh, introducing them, like what some of the clubs like do in America. The do in America. Um, um, then we um, had to do the team shows to keep up the team shows straight off the bat. Then, then um, there were some that were combined, were combined with, uh, combined with the, the tourism experience, the like tourism we did one on a train, where, where people were paying something like 50 bucks to get, like 50 bucks to get they got comedy on, on, there, as well. comedy on, on there as well. Yeah. 